I'm going to briefly talk about the evaluation criteria that we use at Zugzwang uh, to understand how our kids are doing and progressing in the various courses that they are enrolled in. Okay, this is a high level view of parameters which do not change overnight, you know, not in a crash course, it takes time. But the first step is to at least understand where each child is and then kind of get an idea of where the trajectory is going to be as they move along. Uh, I hope that's helpful. And if you have any questions, you can kind of get, get in touch with me or you can probably uh, leave a comment with your question. I'll be happy to answer that. Okay, let's get going. At the top of anything that we do is fluid intelligence, right? I look at four different factors as fluid intelligence, which kind of contribute to fluid intelligence. Problem solving, critical thinking, logical reasoning, and decision making. Now this applies in almost everything that children do, uh, be it chess, coding, math, flintel courses, or uh, pretty much any program that we offer and even outside of it. You know, the, the application of, of a flintel level is applicable even beyond the courses that we offer in academics, in real life. Okay, because these are very, very generic top level characteristics and traits needed in a child. So we begin with understanding where a child is in this particular level. Then we go on to see the subject specific ones. Here I've taken examples of chess and coding and trying to see what is the, the deep dive into that particular subject. But again, we kind of wrap it up by looking at what we call as life skills. Okay, one of the biggest problems with most kids today is their ability to control their impulse. You know, many kids like the first tendency is to jump to conclusion when it comes to looking at and solving a problem. The second most important thing is ability to think ahead, plan and strategize. The third one is the emotional side of doing all of this, which is how does a child handle disappointment? And finally, to cap it off is my the best, top most, only skill that matters in the 21st century, which is metacognition and mindfulness. So if children are able to achieve this, then that would really put them into a completely different level. Now, across all of this, the parameters that I use, the rubrics that I use is to see children in being in one of these four stages. The first stage being unaware. They're not even aware that this is being monitored or this is something that uh, defines them, right? The second part is where they've moved away from that undiscovered phase to a developing phase where they're learning the rules of the system. The third one is where those rules have been learned and it's very evident in how they actually apply that into their day-to-day -day life while solving problems, puzzles, uh, challenges, all of it. And the last stage is when they have become very, very clear about these rules and they've actually gone to a, another level of clarity altogether. The conceptual clarity is extremely high. Uh, another way of looking at it is to say that Developing is a phase where you're just learning the ropes and learning the rules. Evident is where you're learning how those rules are broken. In, in other words, exception handling. And clear is when you have learned the rules, you've learned how it's broken, but you're fine tuning yourself to understand when those exceptions need to be created and handled, when those rules need to be broken. That's when you reach the real expertise of a master or an expert. Okay. So I hope this kind of gives you an overview of um, the different things that we look at at Zugzwang uh, whenever we do a course. You know, the, the nitty gritty of the course is still going to be the puzzles, the gameplay and all of it. But we're constantly trying to evaluate the child and get a feel for how a child intuitively does each one of this. And that's what we cover in our report cards as well. I hope that's very useful and uh, please leave your comments. I'd be happy to kind of learn from your feedback. Uh, thank you so much. In the future videos, I'll be looking into, uh, you know, specifics of each particular parameter or dimension that I talked about here. Thank you so much.